Hey gardeners, uh, it's Robin Dufour here. I'm a physical therapist. I own Berkshire Fitness Company in Williamstown or Be Fit Co. And every time gardening season rolls around, I get more business because we want to get this stuff done, right? We want to get out there and we're working and it's fun and it's productive and we don't want to stop. But here's the thing. Here's what I tell all of my clients. Give your body a break from these positions where we're hunched over, we're kneeling, we're continuously picking things up off the ground. It's hard work after a long winter of not gardening. So give yourself the gift of a little bit of a movement break. I'm gonna show you something that's just gonna take you a few minutes. We're gonna get started right now, okay? And I'll talk a little bit more as we go through and at the end. But here is where we're gonna begin, okay? I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take a step backwards and I'm gonna reach down toward the floor and I'm gonna just step right back to and bring my hands up in the air. Step backwards and reach down toward the floor and come right up. All we're gonna do is five of each of these movements, okay? So this will not take you a long time. And here is a hint. If you do these things, you're not going to finish your job. I'm gonna turn around and do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna step backwards and reach down and right up. Oftentimes we think we can't take a break, we gotta get this done. Take a break like this, you will get more done and you will feel better at the end of the day, okay? Just stepping back and reaching down toward the floor. Don't just go like this for me. I want you to reach right down toward the floor. We're gonna do one more. That's gonna make that five on that side, okay? Excellent, now, next move. I'm just gonna stand to the side again. I'm gonna step forward and I'm gonna reach up, okay? That's it, step forward and reach up. I'm gonna start to speed it up a little bit because I think you got it, okay? Step forward and reach up. We're gonna do one more on that side. So here's what I want you to do. We're gonna switch legs now. Go ahead, we're gonna step forward and reach up. That foot that's on the floor, let's glue that heel right down to the floor, okay? A lot of times it's gonna wanna pop up on you or you're gonna wanna drop that knee down. Let's just keep that foot glued right to the floor. We're gonna do one more. Beautiful. All right. We're like a third of the way there already. It's amazing, okay? We're gonna step to the side, reach down, come right up. Step to the side, come up. Just slide right over there, okay? Reach right down. We're gonna do two more like that on this side. Step down and up one more time. Excellent. Okay, take the other foot off to the side, down and up slide right over there and come right up now again my foot that isn't moving i'm just gluing that right down to the floor okay and the first few times that you do this you don't have to reach down very low a little bit of these movements goes a long way there we go all right we're gonna get a little tricky so stay with me okay we just did that side step now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a crossover step and reach right up in the air okay Crossover, reach up. We are moving your body in every direction. Okay, we're going to different depths. We're going all different variations of how your body is meant to move. Okay, I'll tell you more about that at the end. Switch sides, okay? Just gonna cross over and I'm reaching up with the hand on the side of the leg that isn't moving, okay? If you forget, or feels awkward, that's okay. It's not wrong to do the other way, but try to remember, just follow right along with me. The foot that isn't moving right now is the one we're reaching up with. We're gonna do one more like that. Perfect, we've gone forward, we've gone backward, we've gone to the side, we've crossed over. Now we just need to turn a little bit, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take an open step and I'm gonna swing my arms. Nice open step, this. This arm swing and this rotational step usually just feels really good. And we need to get that upper part of our back, this thoracic spine, where we hunch over. All of these movements today get us out of that hunched over posture. We're gonna switch sides. Other foot, open it up, swing those arms, okay? Now, how far are you supposed to step? 
I'm gonna say, don't worry about it. Just take a nice open step and swing those arms, okay? You can play with how far you go once you get used to these movements. But right now, the fundamental movement patterns that we're going through, that's the important thing, okay? I'm gonna take one more turn step, but this time, okay, we're switching legs again. We're going in a very awkward way. So we're not opening up, we're closing up, okay? So this foot right here is staying glued right to the floor. I'm just doing a little come around the corner step, okay? Swinging my arms with me. Oh, this is good. I'll tell you a little bit more about these movements and where they came from at the end, but I wanna keep us moving, okay? Glue this foot right down, take your little turn step. There we go. We're gonna do five, remember just five. And now, can you do more? Oh, sure. Can you do less? I guess you could, but why? It's not gonna take very long, okay? I'm gonna do one more. Beautiful, okay. The next thing that we're gonna do, we got one last movement to do, and we're gonna use a wall. So you just need a wall or a tree or something, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna step on that wall, okay? I, got, I have this other foot forward, so I have my right foot forward and my right hand on the wall. My foot's about eight inches or so away from that wall, and all I'm gonna do is take this free hand now, I'm gonna reach it up, then I'm gonna open it up to the back. Come back here and reach it up, open it up to the back, okay? This arm that's on the wall, keep it straight. It's gonna wanna bend on you, but I want you to really keep it straight. So this kind of movement right here, we're using that hand on the wall as like kind of a fulcrum or a pivot point that extends out into our upper spine, and that's what we're moving around, okay? Only five of those, it's awesome, right? Take your other foot, put it forward, stiff arm that wall, okay? I've got about eight inches between my foot and the, and the post, so I'm gonna reach up, and I'm gonna open up to the back. Reach up, reach back. Reach up, reach back. Beautiful, reach up, reach back. We're gonna do one more each, up and back. Okay, so I might have lied a little bit to you. <laughs> we have one more movement to do, okay? So a porch railing works awesome for this, the kitchen sink, something you can grab onto, but you're outside, chances are you might have a porch railing to grab onto, okay? And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put your hands right on that porch railing. Oh, we're gonna sit back. Five of those, okay? Just get a nice long stretch through those arms. This is a great way to relieve stress in the lower back. Oh, and to get some good extension going through our upper back and shoulders. All things that we need. We're gonna do one more. That's it. All right, perfect. Okay, so I swear to you as a physical therapist, if you do these movements before you garden, take a break while you're gardening, do them after you're gardening, you are gonna feel a lot better. It is not gonna take away from your productivity, it's gonna add to your productivity, okay? But we expect so much from our bodies and we don't really prepare our bodies for the work that we expect, okay? The work that we really want to get out of our bodies. So this is just a simple way it seems like, whoa, that was a lot of movements you threw at me, Robin, but where these movements come from, come from my time teaching at a place called the Gray Institute in um, Adrian, Michigan with uh, uh, Gary Gray, who is um, big in the physical therapy world. I know, it's very exciting. Uh, but I had the opportunity to teach for Gary for uh, six years. And that, during those six years, I taught movement professionals, physical therapists, athletic trainers, um, people who work with professional athletes from all over the world. I got to teach them a different way to think about moving your body and a different way to help their clients move and feel better with more freedom. So you are gaining the benefit of all that awesome time that I got to spend with so many smart people at the Gray Institute. And this is just a little taste. So 
If you are interested in doing some more strengthening, I have a whole series called uh, the BeFit 10 and 10. It's free. That's 10 moves in 10 minutes. I have so many videos. We'll put a little uh, a link to that in the uh, description underneath this YouTube video. Uh, and then just send me a note. Um, you can go onto my website, befitcompany.com, B-E-F-I-T company.com. Hit the contact thing and send me a note. All right, guys, do it. It's going to feel so good. <laughs>